Hi and welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial video, what I'm going to be telling you about is uh, subnet masks. And um, I'm going to do a separate video on subnetting and how we create subnetworks uh, because uh, I, I want to keep uh, the videos at a manageable length. But in this video, I'm just going to show you what a subnet mask is so you have that background knowledge. So what is a subnet mask? So a subnet mask is used to tell devices such as routers uh, which part of an IPv4 address is the host part and which part is the network part. Okay, so I'm going to go through an example of uh, what this looks like with the um, address that uh, was in my example in my IPv4 addressing video. So this is the address that I had in that uh, IPv4 addressing video in binary form. And uh, in dotted decimal form it looks uh, like this. 192.168.10.2 And uh, look at that video IPv4 addressing if you uh, don't understand uh, what I'm going on about with these two addresses. Or these two forms of the same address. So because, um, as I said in that video, this part of uh, the this particular address is the network part, and this part here is the host part, our subnet mask for uh, this address in binary format is going to look something like this. So that's our subnet mask in binary form, and the reason that that is our subnet mask is uh, for our, our subnet mask contains um, ones for all of the bits in the IPv4 address that um, are part of the network part. So because our first three bytes in this address are the network part, the first three bytes in our subnet mask are ones. And then because the last byte is the host part, uh, the last byte of the subnet mask is is all zeros. And we can also write the subnet mask in a dotted decimal form and it would look something like this. So 255.255.255.0 and that's just uh, we, we've converted that to dotted decimal in the same way as we convert a binary IP address, IPv4 address, into dotted decimal. So just convert each byte of the subnet mask into a decimal number and put dots in between. And one final thing to know about uh, subnet masks is uh, a different form of notation, really. Um, uh, and it's a form that you might see uh, used in various places. And it's, it's much easier to write in uh, this form called slash notation, um, and much quicker to write the IPv4 address and uh, the subnet mask. So if I write the this IPv4 address and this subnet mask in uh, slash notation, what uh, it comes out as is this. So we simply write the IPv4 address and then slash, and then the number of bits in the subnet mask that are ones. And so that's saying that the first 24 bits in the subnet mask are uh, ones. So this form of this form of the writing the IPv4 address and the subnet mask is uh, usually used whenever um, uh, people are reading the uh, IPv4 address and the subnet mask because it's much easier to read than uh, writing down the binary form or even uh, much simpler to write down than uh, writing the IPv4 address and then the subnet mask separately. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this uh, short video tutorial on what a subnet mask is. Um, in another video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, what subnets are. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, tutorial video useful. Just a brief overview of what a subnet mask is, and thanks for watching.